Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. Today we will discuss about corrosion, examples of corrosion and prevention of corrosion. What is corrosion? The phenomenon of deterioration or destruction of a metal when exposed to air, water or any other substance around it in the atmosphere is called corrosion. It occurs at the surface of a metal. It is a spontaneous and irreversible process. Examples of corrosion When a piece of iron or any iron article is exposed to moist air for a very long time, a layer of reddish-brown flaky substance is formed on the surface of iron. This substance is called rust. Rust is hydrated iron oxide. The second example is when silver articles are exposed to air, they become black after some time because they react with hydrogen sulfide gas present in air to form a coating of black silver sulfide. The third example of corrosion is when a piece of copper or any copper utensil is exposed to moist air containing carbon dioxide, it loses its red shine after some time due to the formation of a green coating of basic copper carbonate. So these are the examples of corrosion. Due to corrosion, most iron and steel structures get damaged and we have to spend a large amount of money for prevention of their damage due to corrosion or for replacement of iron and steel structures. We have already discussed the conditions necessary for the occurrence of rusting of iron are air and moisture. Hence, the methods of prevention of corrosion of a metal must aim at protecting it from air and moisture. These methods are commonly used for prevention of corrosion. The first method is protection by coating with oil or grease. Corrosion is prevented by coating the material with oil or grease. The second method is protection by covering with paint, plastic, rubber or ceramic. Corrosion is prevented by covering the material with a coat of paint, plastic, rubber or ceramic. The third method is prevention by galvanization. Corrosion is prevented by coating iron subjects with a thin layer of zinc. This process of coating iron objects with a thin layer of zinc is called galvanization. Zinc is a more reactive metal than iron and it reacts with air in preference to iron when exposed to moist air. On exposure to moist air, zinc being more electropositive than iron gets oxidized protecting iron from oxidation. This method of prevention of corrosion is called sacrificial protection. Galvanization is done by dipping the iron or steel article in molten zinc and then taking it out. Fourth method is prevention by electroplating. Corrosion is prevented by electroplating iron with a more resistant metal such as chromium or nickel. The fifth method is protection by connecting with a more electropositive metal. Corrosion is prevented when an iron pipe is connected with a block of magnesium. Magnesium being more electropositive than iron gets oxidized protecting iron from oxidation. Next method is prevention by anodizing. Corrosion is prevented by anodizing aluminium articles by coating with a thick protective layer of aluminium oxide. Seventh method 
is protection by alloying with metals. Iron is protected from corrosion by alloying it with chromium, nickel, vanadium and tungsten. The rust proof stainless steel is an, of, is an alloy of iron, chromium and nickel and carbon and is used for making knives, cutlery, utensils and sinks. The last method of protection is protection by use of anti-rust solution. Anti-rust solutions are alkaline solution of sodium chromate and sodium phosphate. An insoluble protective film of iron phosphate is formed on the surface of iron and as a result further corrosion is prevented. The alkalinity of the anti-rust solution decreases with the availability of H positive ions leading to the prevention of corrosion. Anti-rust solutions are used in radiators of automobiles for prevention of rusting of iron parts of radiators. Thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos.